welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to tell you my wish list for Santa and yeah if you're interested then make sure you keep on watching <laughs> list is not something I want people to buy me so don't get me wrong when I say there are some like a bit more expensive things on there as well so I don't want anyone to think that I'm like greedy and I want like expensive presents from people and stuff it's just things I sort of need or like I'm going to want to buy for myself um, and I really believe that when you put things out in the universe then they happen to you you know, they come back and <laughs> and you're just going to have them. So uh, there's some things I need for my um, YouTube channel as well. Um, and then some stuff I just like. Um, but like if you're watching and you want to buy me a Christmas present, then you can pick one of the small ones. I'll be really happy with that. All my thoughts and everything I would like to have in my life sort of thing as a wish list. And then hopefully it happens. Okay, so number one, um, um, let's start with like the small things. So number one, I love bath bombs. So I love bath bombs anytime. Um, I always have a jar in my bathroom where I like have normally like five, six of them. Um, and then I only use them in like, um, if I say the terms, rainy days don't take it literally because obviously England is always raining <laughs> but like when I have like a really long day or like I'm really tired or if I'm ill yeah I just have a bath and a, a, a bomb so like that's literally a present you can get me anytime in a year like I need to top up now because I think I only have one left so it was like yeah I haven't been in there for ages what else do I like? I'm planning to buy a, a slow cooker for like a long time um, but I haven't like I don't know it's one of those things that you just never get to <laughs> it's like you, you you keep thinking about it oh yeah I'm gonna get one I'm gonna get one and then you just forget you can cook with other things so it's not like something I'm I'm dying for if I don't have you're just going to work and then like put it on your food and then by the time you come back it's ready sort of thing so I think it's a very handy thing to have in your house I really love um, anything to do with animals so if you <laughs> if you like yeah if you know me that you know that I just love animals so much so like anything to do seriously like if you get me a mug with animals. This is obviously not something I need, it's just something I sort of like. As you know, I like dancing so much and stuff, so even like um, an equipment for dancing or stretching or something would be like a really good thing, a really good present for me. Let's get into all the things I actually would like to have in my life, but I don't want people to like get it for me if that makes sense. So I can, I, I'm the type of person I like to buy stuff for myself if that makes sense. So like I, I earn my money and I just get it, so I don't. I'm not the type of girl that I'm gonna go and and like ask other people and then just like be with people for their money and stuff like that. So I like, literally hate that so much. But if I look at my YouTube, uh, what do I need for for it to to be able to like give you better content and stuff? So I'm currently filming in like a really small flat. So like obviously it's not just YouTube; it's just my life in general. I really would like to own. Um, a flat or a house where it's like obviously big windows and then it's a bit more light. The UK is always raining so even now it's grey and shitty outside so if I don't forget I, I can um, just film a little bit for you to like see how it is but um, if I haven't included any clips that I probably forgot. Um, but um, yeah it's very grey anyway so even if I had a big window all over everywhere I would need to have like lights because um, yeah, it's just one of those places where it's like, no, lots of times it's dark. And if I could have a flat or a house, then I could have a dog, which is my second one, which has nothing to do with YouTube again. But um, my absolute dream is for a long time is buying a puppy or adopting a puppy or whatever, a dog. Well, I have a favorite breed, which is a Border Collie because they're really, really smart. They look really, really pretty. Um, they're just very, yeah, they're just nice dogs. Um, but depending on where I would move, if I would have that, because obviously they, they need a lot of activities that they're very, very um, 
smarter they have to be constantly like doing something and I think if you if you have a small flat and you work in a lot and stuff like that is obviously not the well every dog needs some attention but I think boy or collies are they're gonna take your house apart because they're just gonna be so bored and then a lot of things like now I'm thinking like other dogs and they yeah, just go and, and like, adopt whatever you know like because when you go to a shelter that like, you fall in love with like a completely different dog that you were thinking about you know so <clears throat> definitely if I would get manage to get a house or a flat I would buy a dog that would literally be my first thing like before even starting doing anything in the house so back to back to the YouTube part so I would need a ring light so ring lights are not really expensive so they depending obviously what country are you from but like I, I looked at online it's probably like starts from like 20 pounds like I have at the moment these two um like table lights I don't know what you call them and I just trying to like position them but you can see my shadows and stuff so that obviously I could make it better with the a um, ring light. Then I think the lighting as well is, is a bit more like white, not necessarily like yellow. And then in the future when I get to have my own place, then I would like to have like a corner where I set up my camera and then I have a background, like a nicer background and everything so I don't have to move. Because at the moment I'm taking in and out my camera. So it's like it's always like, have to like, to like set up the, the angle, angle and then, and then it's, it's kind of annoying when you film so, so much, much and, then, and then oh shit, right, right, the top right, of my head was in the shot. So that would be great if I could just set everything, set the lights, leave it there background everything and you just stay there's one thing i don't have is a mic or a phone so if i go outside which is not that often that's why i don't have it um but if i'm vlogging like my holidays or whatever and then i want to talk into the camera that a lot of times if the background is really noisy and then, um it's quite hard to to hear what i'm saying and stuff so, like yeah, anything to do outside. I think you need need a, um, a microphone, so that would be another one which is needed. And at the moment, I have one camera which I'm filming on right now, and it's a little bit bigger than like a. It's not a vlogging camera, basically. So it's one of those cameras where you just like put down, film on it. So it's like it's quite big. Um, I took it with me to Spain and Egypt to vlog with. And then I have like obviously the, the vlogging stick, like tripod thing, and like the small one. Um, and then I was getting by with it, but it's just quite big and heavy. So if I if I had like a proper vlogging camera, that would be so much better and easier. And also like the um, with the vlogging camera, there's a reason why the screen is moving in and out. So like obviously you can open the the screen and then you can see yourself. Um, and then you are in the shot, so not necessarily because I want to watch myself, it's just because sometimes you're not in the shot when you're filming with. Um, and then the camera I have right now doesn't have that option because it's not a vlogging camera, it's for like sitting down videos like what I'm doing right now. So uh, yeah, so that would be a really great thing that I'm probably going to get in the future. My eyes. Um, I am short-sighted, so I, I would, well, I, I have glasses, but I don't wear my glasses because I think now they don't really do anything because obviously my eyes are a little bit worse. So I can obviously still see and everything. I don't really have like a really bad one. But um, if something is a bit further out and if there's um, like numbers, letters, whatever, like I can't necessarily see that what they say. Um, luckily, I'm not driving, so that if I was driving, that would be annoying. Um, if I don't wear my glasses, obviously, like I would really need to get them done. But yeah, it's just because I don't really need it for work. And obviously, like working in fitness, I'm just like sweating all the time. Like I would probably like take it off every time when I'm working out uh, or teach classes or anything. Um, so I'm not wearing it. Watch it. Let me show you the one I have right now. How I look in glasses because I don't think you guys ever see me wearing them. So let's see. Down. <laughs> okay, so that's me with my glasses on. Um, yeah, it doesn't do anything for me anymore because yeah, my eyes are worse, which is quite scary. Um, in terms of like places, I like, obviously want to go to like holidays and stuff, but like I have one one country in my life where I really, really, really want to go, and I don't know why. I think it's because when I was a kid that I watched so many like I've seen so many video um, films about it. So like I would absolutely love to go to Cuba and then I know Cuban people, they're just so nice and it's just one of those countries that is just like 
because of the movies. So, like, when I was younger, I said, I love dancing. I was like, oh, you already know. Um, watching, like, Dirty Dancing. I think it was in, like, the, in the new one when they're, like, doing, like, Cuban salsa. And it's just, like, all this, like, all the movies where they're, like, doing that kind of stuff. It's just really, really nice. And I love Cuban salsa. I like dancing Cuban salsa and the music and everything. And... It would be like what literally one of my dreams to go to Cuba and dance salsa in Cuba. And also they have the cigar and like the, the colorful cars and then like all the colorful buildings. And um, there was one time when we went to, we actually like f were flying to Portugal and then we met this um, old couple and they were telling us that um, we are like having a conversation where we're going and everything. And then we started talking about like dream destinations and then mine is Cuba and then Mark's is Mexico. So they, the couple were saying like how nice is Cuba, like how nice Cuba is because they were um, like going to Cuba 13 years in a row every summer because they just love it so much, like how chill the people are and, and everything's just amazing about it. It's just a little like, yeah, it's just, I just want to basically travel to Cuba and then see or have the experience how to... But how they are, you know. Obviously, there's a lot of countries I want to go, and then I have um, a board um, where the it's, it's just a map of like the word map, and then I just put little dots in wherever I've been before, and then it's very, very more, yeah, just Europe, and Egypt was the only thing in Africa where I went. But that, um, I've got one more wish, which is going to be the cringiest wish ever, and you're gonna be like holding your head, like, oh my god, Jesus, did she did really say that? Mm. I wish to grow my channel and I really would like you to subscribe if you do. And if you are watching my videos for a long time and you haven't yet, then that would be great if you finally subscribe. I started this channel because... When did I start it? I started like a long time ago. Probably. I think I joined in 2013. And I always um, was afraid to talk. So like if you go way back in my channel that you can see I have like 30 seconds of videos. So I had um, my holiday videos and everything and then I um, was just like filming the surroundings but I wasn't talking in it at all because I was worried of what people think um, and then if you watch my videos before that you know that the reason I actually started talking is because my um, my clients were telling me like I should do it and I shouldn't care and and then I sort of like wanted to prove to myself that I don't care about what people think and I'm just going to do it because I enjoy doing it. And then I started it because of that. And I still have like ups and downs when I like, I don't know, don't see my channel grow as quick as I wanted to. Or if I, I managed to get to a number and, and one person unsubscribes. And a month ago, I think it was, that it happened. And then I was just so down about it. And then there is a way that you can look at things up in YouTube, like how your channel does and... And then basically, if the subscribers and everything, and then that was the person I'm unsubscribing, and I had seen it, like it was actually said it that the the account got deleted, so it wasn't actually a person unsubscribing. There's obviously people will, and they are probably, but um, it's just it's just really annoying when you like do that. They work really hard. Since I started talking in my videos, I was filming uh, three videos a week, um, and obviously at the moment I'm doing uh, vlogmas. So that's like video every day and I have to like some of them like pre-filmed and it's just so much work and I'm working in full time and everything. So yeah, it's, it's just, it would be amazing if I could grow my channel and then um, just carry on doing what I like to do sort of thing and then people would appreciate what I like. So that's one of my dream as well, like wish. There's obviously like some of you, like I managed to get to above 100, which is already like really good for me because then I never thought, like I remember starting with like 23 people that all subscribe from my, my Facebook. Like I have a friend and we always like message about it and then obviously like you've probably seen her in my videos that I always send her, if I just had one subscriber, I was like send her the number and I was like, oh, I've got one more person watching the videos and then like, she's probably like so sick of me. And as I said again, I do not want people to buy these things for me. I don't want like Cuban holiday, I don't want a house, I don't want to, you know, it's like, I would really be happy for a puppy. I really think like little doggy, but um, <laughs> other than that, like it's just things I want in my life and trying to put it out to the universe, as I said. If you're new, then make sure you subscribe. Um, and then let me know down in the comments if you have any wishes so you can put it out in the universe and then potentially get it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!